So now what we've got is we've got our slices on the report, so we can filter, that's great. Um, and yes, I could look and say, oh, which ones have I got filtered again? But there's nothing to identify what am I actually looking at. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a quick measure. So on the Net Promoter Score type table, I'm going to click on the ellipsis there and I'm going to do New Quick Measure. So from there, we've got a built-in calculation or one of the options that we can do that's built in, which is a um, concatenated list of values. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, each time we click, we're going to be able to see what values have been selected from those slices. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back down to the Net Promoter Score type and we're going to do Label. And if there were a lot of values like there are with the colours, there's seven of those, we can set and say, OK, how many values do we allow to be clicked before it truncates and says, etc. So there's only three, so that's fine. I can just leave it as three. All right, so we clicked OK. And we can see now we've got a list of label values and we've got a formula that's been populated for us automatically. So what we can do is we can just add a little bit more to this. This will then allow us to be able to display this and actually see the list of values selected. So I'm going to add in if is filtered. And then what we're going to do is pick the net promoter score type Sorry, net promoter score type label. So there it is. Close that bracket and then a comma. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And after the final one, we're going to put all NPS types selected. So what this is going to do is it's going to say, if we've just selected individual ones, then just show those names. Otherwise, if we haven't selected anything, therefore, all NPS types have been selected. So we're going to hit enter. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing again on the color values. We'll add another quick measure. and go back to the concatenated list of values. This time let's truncate f after four because what we're going to be doing is doing the color values and there's like I said, there's seven of those. So go ahead and click OK. Same thing again. We get our um, formula and we're going to do if is filtered and this one, this is going to be color values, uh, color values label. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to do all colors selected. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll add in uh, So we've got all colors selected. Now, if I start to select them, we can see that it's shown the first four, and then as soon as we've selected another one, it's got etc. Okay. Now, if we want to use both of those um, new quick measures, and we want to actually have a combined indicator. So in other words, we want to see what net promoter score type and what color plans we can do that and we can add in a new measure. So if I do that, I can basically combine and link the two together. So if I do filter title equals the list of label values for the first one and then a hyphen and then the list of label values for the second one, if I go ahead and click enter, Let's add in a new card. Make that a bit bigger. And then search on filtered. There we 
here we go. So now we can see all net promoter types selected, all colors selected. As soon as I then start to click, we can now see that that title is working and it's working for both of those slices. Now if we want to use both of those um, new quick measures and we want to actually have a combined indicator, so in other words we want to see what net promoter score type and what colour plans, we can do that and we can add in a new measure. So if I do that, I can basically combine and link the two together. So if I do filter title equals the list of label values for the first one and then a hyphen and then the list of label values for the second one. If I go ahead and click enter, let's add in a new card. Make that a bit bigger. And then search on filtered. There we go. So now we can see all net promoter types selected, all colors selected. As soon as I then start to click, we can now see that that title is working and it's working for both of those slices.